What's up, guys? Too Cool TB, representing Power by Vibes here with a quick hit. I'm going to explain real quick my ranking system that you guys see. So, there's three distinct ways that I rank songs. So, there's um, the Artist Discovery series that's here on YouTube that you guys always see. You guys see my famous Billboard chart. So, that is... That's, as I say in every video, it's not a reflection of the quality of the song. It's a list of recommendations. It's put in the order of what I think will be the most popular. They recommend it to others. So I times things near the top of the billboard chart. I say it like that because I don't want to, I'm not trying to rip off the real life billboard. But oftentimes the things near the top, they're going to be the songs that I feel like are more radio friendly and radio ready and also things that i feel like are more universal like if you look at 2021's top three they're pretty diverse because you had you know summer summer days her song is more of like a smoother kind of hip-hop inspired but still singer songwritery you know coffee shop guitar style song but it was done in a way that is really rich sounding and really full then i also had on there you know, Kaijera's I Don't Mind, which is like the heavy song, like a heavy rock song, which has a style that's not as popular nowadays, but it still has its audience. But it still was done well enough that it would be accessible to a lot of people. And then the top one was one that is kind of like a pop rock, maybe like a soft rock type of a song. We used to hear in the early 2000s with Alex Julia's Like the Sun. And that's kind of how those were done. So the Billboard chart is not necessarily... The songs that I think are the best or the most expressive is done completely based upon what I think would be the most popular. So those are kind of the factors that go into it. Usually things that make things creep up the chart for me and get near the top. As I usually say in those artist discovery videos too, just give me something different. Because usually anything that's different, anything that I can actually hear, like some creativity was put into it, is not something I've heard a million times before. I will usually favor those for my ranking on the Billboard chart in the Artist Discovery series. So a lot of times, it's, my, it's not necessarily the best songs. There are songs that are further down the list that some people might think were better executed or have a more polished feel. But to me, it goes based upon the creativity that I'm hearing and how well it was executed, what regular people would think about it too. You know, Because if it's just like you're basically biting what someone else is doing, to me, that's not really that cool and that interesting. The second rating system that I have all the time, too, is when I do album reviews over on thepowerisback.com. So that, I rank it just like it's in school. You could get an A, B, C, D, or an F. So the highest grade possible is an A+. Plus. So A+, plus, you know, that's a, an A is a grade of mastery. It shows that someone is mastered their aesthetic their everything about that album was like is well done as you can get if i supplement it by giving it an a plus that means it's absolutely perfect there's nothing about it that could be done better it's just amazing that's probably the rarest grade because most of the time there is room for improvement but occasionally some people do put out something that is just perfect exactly how it is there's really no room for improvement then, of course, I could give it an A-, minus, which is is basically perfect, but there's a couple of nitpicks I can point out that can be improved upon. And then, of course, there's the B grade that I will give albums, which is good. You know, B grade, just like when you're in school, you, you understand the subject. So it's the same thing with the music. You know, you understand the task at hand. You know, you did a pretty good job on everything. sounded great. However, you know, there's... There's things on it that can be improved, but not so much that it takes away from the quality of the work. You know, the same thing, I can supplement it with a plus or a minus. A plus if it's like, it's worthy of being an A grade, but it just has so many nitpicks that I can't give it an A, so it gets a B plus. Or a B minus where it's good, but there's just a lot of room for improvement, but room for improvement wasn't enough to make it worthy of being lower. 
Then sometimes I'll grade albums with, albums with a C, which is just an average grade. So a C is not bad, but it's just average. It doesn't really have anything about it that stands out one way or the other. And same thing, I'll supplement a C grade with a plus or a minus. It's a plus if, you know, I felt that is slightly above average, like it's, it stands out a little bit over the rest of the stuff that I hear, but it's just, it's missing something to make it truly stand out to me as being good. Or I could also supplement it with a minus where I think it's average, but it's flawed. And that's the reason why I can't go much higher. Then there's the D grade, which I haven't given out yet. D grade on the powersback.com for album reviews is just passable. So it just means like, okay, basically it's, it's not terrible, but there's a ton of work that could have been done to make this song or this album way better. So that's kind of what the D grade would be. And the same thing, you could supplement that one sometimes as a plus or a minus. Then the final grade, which is probably going to also be mo the most fair, because if I, as I've said before, I don't review things just to bash them. If there's something that I really do not like, I don't review it at all because I don't feel that that's constructive. If I'm going to purposely review something I know I don't like, just so I can be negative about it. The only reason why you'll see a review that's on our site that's an F grade, a complete failure, just nothing about it was redeemable. It's only if it's either like a mainstream artist that I'm reviewing or if it's somebody that this is an older project that they've done and I'm reviewing it because there's something that's a teachable moment about it. So that's kind of the grades for that. Then there's the new grading system that I'm going to be adding for when I do track reviews. It might get added to the Artist Discovery Series. It's definitely going to be added for track reviews though. And that's the... We'll call it the Too Cool TB scale, or we'll call it like the vibe meter or something like that. So it goes from wiggity wiggity whack, I instant classic. So that's kind of the three levels to it. It's, it's a meter. If it's wiggity wiggity whack, nah, I'm not feeling this song at all. This song is just, it's bad. You need to go back to the drawing board and try again. If it's just, I, it's okay. You know, like it's not. It's not bad per se, but it's just nothing special that stands out to me. And then, like, if it's an instant classic, it's an instant classic. Like, it's number one on the artist discovery, you know, charts at the end of the year. So that's kind of the rating systems that you guys will see over here. And as I always say, the reason why we do this and the whole mission of the Powered by Vibes project is to learn. And it's very important that you listen to music critically. Or listen to other people's music critically as well to try to learn from it and what we can all do better from hearing other people's work and you can hear things that other people can improve on you can also hear things that other people do well that you can apply to what you're doing so that's kind of the whole point behind why we're doing this so whenever i'm doing these reviews i try to be as positive as possible however at the same time i try to be honest about it you know i try not to say something is good if I don't think that is good or I try not to you know tell a lie I usually would try to give you ways to improve something or I'll straight out say this has a lot of potential to be good like I'll say things like that this has flaws but it has a lot of potential so that's just kind of the way that I rate things so that was just a quick hit today just to give you guys a little bit of insight into how that rating system works so Make sure you guys go and check out thepowersback.com. Check out some of our interviews, reviews, and artist features along with the Jam series. And we check out some live local music venues. And make sure you take time out of your day to support local music.